Hi everybody and welcome back. This is part two of my HEI conversion onto my 1979 Dodge truck. The truck is a D300 model with a 5.9 liter 360 engine, two barrel carb, and until recently my old stock Chrysler ignition system was working then it quit. And it would have taken way too many parts and stuff and too much time to try to fix it because there was a lot of problems with the wiring as well. So I decided to do a HEI conversion for it using that module right here. This is a GM ignition module for a 77 Silverado with a 350 four barrel carb. This is a simple four pin ignition module. And this, other than the coil and your stock distributor, is your entire ignition system. That's it. Other than plugs and wires, of course. But for the coil, if you haven't caught my first video yet, part one, I am using an Acel Super Stock coil. And if you didn't, I would encourage you to check out part one of the series here. But if not, this is the part number for the ignition module. Now, for in this episode, I will go over the wiring diagram. I will show you how to bypass your ballast resistor. And I will also describe how the old ignition system worked. So that in order to understand how to hook this up correctly, you need to understand how the old system works. Now, you have your distributor, your coil, and your ignition module. Your stock distributor will have two wires. In my case, this was a gray and a brown and a white wires. Sometimes it may be black with orange, but usually it's either black or gray which is the one wire here. It's, I think it's a trigger wire, if I'm not mistaken. I go through the stock connector. I salvage the connector and spliced in two new wires. But it's important to note that this wire here, in my case gray, goes to the G terminal of the ignition module. You have four letters B, C, G, and W on that ignition module. But as you, as you can also see there are three terminals that are the same size and one terminal that is a lot smaller. This terminal here goes to the gray wire on the distributor or black it doesn't matter <clears throat> but that goes to that terminal and the other terminal obviously goes to the other side of the plug the ground wire you will need to ground this module out and so I grounded mine back to the battery I had some black wire, so I went ahead and made a ground wire all the way to the battery. Better, you know, what better place to ground an electrical component than the battery? But now moving on to the coil. This green wire is the on the negative side of the ignition coil. Goes to the C terminal of the ignition module. The blue wire on my case, wiring harness, goes from the positive side of the ignition coil to the B terminal of the ignition module. The other wire goes to a 12 volt power source. Now, to understand the ballast resistor. Your ballast resistor has two resistors in here, both running parallel to each other. You will have two connectors. The bottom connector will have two wires. The top connector will have three wires. And two there'll be a dark green wire on this side and two pink wires on this side. 
and the bottom side will have two red wires. It's important to know that the two pink wires up here, one of them goes to the positive coil in the old ignition system. This other wire here went to the ballast ballast terminal of the starter relay. Okay, tongue tied there. What happens is when the key is in the run position, motor off or motor on, it doesn't matter. The power will be flowing to on this wire to these two terminals. This one wire, the dark green wire goes to the ignition module, the Chrysler ignition module. And like I said, at least one of them comes from this relay, one of them goes to the coil. But, in start position, if the ignition switch is in the start position, power will not flow to this wire here. Instead, the power will be coming from this wire. Because when the relay is activated, power will flow through the co relay coil inside of it and come out of here which in turn feeds the ignition coil power until the engine starts and then once the engine starts and the keys in the run position the power will flow through this now if you're doing this HEI conversion you do not need to jump this I saw one picture on a forum where the guy jumped this side of the connectors you do not need to do that These, it serves absolutely no purpose this goes to the con old control module it, you're not using the old control module anymore so this is pretty much useless all you need to worry about jumping on the connectors is this side this side here. You need to jump these two terminals. In my case, this connector here went bad, sour. It got busted for some odd reason. So I had ended up having to snip the wires and put in a connector that way to jump across. But the way I have it set up now, power flow through this wire to here to the ignition system to my coil and when I crank on it there will be power flowing from this one so now I have bypassed the ballast resistor and I have gone to this this setup now if you have any questions do not hesitate to leave them underneath the video in the comment section if you have any suggestions do the same if you want to give it a big old thumbs up please feel free to I certainly appreciate those and if you want to subscribe be my guest I certainly like it I like to make the videos I'm not in it for all the fame or glory or nothing I, I just want to make videos to help people pursue independent lives with their vehicles and working around the house and stuff whatnot anyway part three I will show you how I put the whole system together and uh, I will be posting videos of the truck running in between these episodes here so thank you and once again thank you all for watching I'll hope to see you soon okay talk to y'all later bye bye